I'm Scott Hardesty from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm the founder of Ranger Nutrition. music man Crack it, everybody. Money smart guy Matt Zapali here. The new military veteran entrepreneur is dangerous, baby. <laughs> What's going on? I'm here with my buddy here. This is his uh, setup here in my office. We got Ranger Nutrition out here. Scott Hardesty. Welcome to the Money Smart Show. Happy Red Friday, man. Right. Thank you. Thanks Matt. for uh, being here. I like how my intro video doesn't actually show any. Like it doesn't tell you anything that I do. It's just, it's just we need some badass music and some moves. Let's Bro, just put it together. But you were drinking. You were drinking with that. Your BCAs. Uh, oh my pre workout. Pre pre workout. Mm -hmm. uh, red color. Yep. You saw you saw drinking that. That's pretty good. Right? You're selling an experience. I am a. Looks like I'm a one trick pony. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know. All right. Well, let's crack it, everybody. You are tuning into the red friday edition of the money smart show where i normally broadcast on wednesday but we decided to do this about two three weeks ago where i just want to honor um all our brothers and sisters deployed overseas um I, you know we're you know we were deployed and and we know what it's like to come back home and hug freedom and kiss the ground kiss american soil and do the most with the freedom that's been fought for and provided and bled for and sadly for some died for so we want to make the most of our red fridays just not by sitting on our ass and and just uh, dogging down hot dogs and burgers, but we want to provide some value to you guys. And who, who else is going to provide some value this Friday? And Scott here, who's going to share with you his journey of entrepreneurship, 26 years in the Army. Yep. Airborne Ranger. Yep. But like not that entire 26 years. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That would be crazy. Right? <laughs> you know, like nobody wants to do that for 26 years. So what, what was your first MOS then? Um, you know, I when I, I ended up joining, I started joined by joining the National Guard. Um, my father was a... Um, in the military, mm -hmm. he actually went to Vietnam twice. He was an, he was an Army Ranger. No kidding. And uh, I wanted to fly helicopters. No, yeah, right. That was, nice. I mean, because we, we were at a Huey's he, Hawks. Uh, I wanted to fly. Uh, um, I was actually a little bit old school. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had uh, they had the Hueys in the on the OH 58s yeah, back yeah, yeah. then. So you know, I thought, oh, it'd be cool. I'm gonna fly a, an OH 58. We didn't have like Apaches or Cobras. Yeah. yeah. Um, out of Shelbyville, Indiana. Is where we ended up, and that's where mm. my dad ended up, uh, like retiring. Indiana, yeah, yeah. out of there. So, Absolutely. so we started off there, and I was like, you know what, I want to fly helicopters, but I'm not, I'm not that smart, <laughs> right? <laughs> For me to get into. Uh, was your vision okay? I mean, 2020, yeah, uh, 2020 cool. vision, cool. All right? Uh, not colorblind, anything cool. like that. So, uh, um, I decided to go ahead and uh, um, fix them first, be a mechanic. Cool. And um, during that time frame, then they had like this aerial observer program, which like was yeah. it was like this pilot program where, uh, you know, the bubbles that they have yeah, on yeah. the top of the. Uh -huh. OK, well, when they first brought those out, mm -hmm. they weren't putting them on the Apaches and all that kind of stuff. They were putting them on the OH 58s. And so they're like, hey, do you want to do a 14 week training program uh, where you would learn how to operate that equipment and fun, we'll teach man. you how to fly? Yep. Right <laughs> this guy. Here this I am a right PFC. Right? And I'm like, yes, I will do that program. So were you originally going to be a crew chief or were you going to be eventually kind of like a warrant officer? Well, the, go that route? they they all start off with lower enlisted really? people to do that kind of job. So interesting. You know, I ended up being in a crew chief slot. Yeah. And um all the pilots hated us. Right. Because they went to 14 months and I wanted to do that program. Yeah. And uh, we got to do it in 14 weeks. And you know what? You know what I've learned? That is a perishable skill. Which, okay. which was that? Uh... Flying a helicopter. <laughs> that is a perishable skill because I did it for a little bit. And then yeah. uh, like yeah. 20 years later. Yeah. Um, how does that translate to the civilian world right now? Does that, uh, does that, uh... How does what? Yeah. Perishable skills? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean. Well, well, well flying uh, OH-58, you know, I mean, what are you flying around here in these 
bells and find bells. Oh yeah, here. the bell. Hel- yeah, oh. I mean it would be like a like a police helicopter or something like that. At this yeah, point, you know, and that was that was what you know I started, and then they gave me a full time job. They're like, hey, be AGR, and I'm like, great. Yeah. You know, because I want to do National Guard because if I didn't like it, mm-hmm. then all I have to do one week in a month. Still, my dad's still happy because, uh, you know, I joined the military, but I ended up liking it. And they gave me a full-time gig and they're like, hey, we'll work for recruiting. Why don't you go ahead? We'll fly you into high schools and, yeah. you know, you wear a jumpsuit and say, hey, I'm 19 years old flying helicopters. Cool. And you can too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, um, yeah, that kind of fell apart. Right. Really? Like that whole program, like nobody liked us and stuff. So, wow. you know, so, but. I ended up uh, doing admin stuff for a long time, and I got approached by uh, a long-range surveillance unit. And they were like, hey, yeah. you know, what you do, you do pretty good. Would you be interested in coming to us? I'm like, ah, do I have to jump out of planes? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Jumping out of perfectly good aircraft. Yeah, I was yeah. like, do I have to do that? You know, and they're like, yeah, everybody jumps. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot, you know. Yeah. Ran once for like two miles and thought I'd be ready for airborne for school, school. And yeah. that was so not the, you know. So airborne school is, is three weeks, right? Or there's there's ground school, there's ground yeah. week, mm-hmm. then there's. Yeah, there, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, I believe it's three weeks. Man, it's been such a long time. Yeah, right. You know, and, like, then, and then you decide to go to the ranger side. And then. Well, uh, in my night. unit, here's, yeah. in my unit, um, I, I saw that everybody in leadership positions were, were rangers. Oh, rangers. And I wanted to be in a leadership position. So they, you know, so they're like, all right, you get to go. And the funny thing was, is um, everybody bet that I would fall out at some point. <laughs> everybody had a had a bet because we had like three hundred people that started. I mean, were you, were you as big and bulky? In the I trained in for six months Got for, okay. to do it. So I mean, I went in at like yeah. back then I was like two hundred five, but I could bench yeah. like three fifteen, and I could run five miles in like thirty six minutes. Cock strong, man. Well, right. you know, they have two kinds yeah. of rangers. You have a strong one and a smart one. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And I went as a strong I, I, And I was a hybrid, so I was in the middle, right? So, right. I, I went as a strong one, and I yeah. came back as a smart one because I, I looked terrible. My, my parents yeah. didn't even recognize me. My mom started bawling when she saw me Yeah. after after I got tagged. You know, wow. we started off with 300 yeah. in the class, and we, I think it was like 18 of the original class mm-hmm. that graduated. So I, I was able to do it without recycling any because there was I just did not want to do any of that. Longer than you needed to, yeah. Right. So good. And then once I did that, then they're like, hey, how about aerosol school? How about this how about that now you got to go to long range leadership surveillance school and i'm like got it you know yeah, yeah. so i would i would actually take any class, any school i mean i would just i was just sucking it up and then yeah. you know i i loved it i was drinking the kool-aid and gotcha. you know got, got to do all that kind of stuff so t- so 26 years in the army retired mm-hmm. so how did you know you're wired for entrepreneurship I've always been entrepreneurship. Yeah. Or not entrepreneurial. All right. Not entrepreneurial says, smoking like a true ranger. Right. <laughs> words, <laughs> big words throw me off. Um, I mean, when I was 16, I was DJing. I had my own DJ company. Yeah. Um, cool. DJ to nightclubs. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, um, at one point while I was active military, I bought up real estate. In the military? While in the military? Yeah. No kidding. Right. So cool. I, had, I had like 16 properties at one point. Wow. Um, while in the military still? Yeah. Wow. How did you manage all that? Well, well, so it was, it was terrible. Okay. It was, it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was not, it yeah, was not my... rent maintenance. You got to deploy. Uh, uh, yeah. Luckily, um, I ended up, uh, well, I got activated to go to work at Camp Atterbury in 2003 hmm. and that threw off everything. Wow. Right. But now, I mean, I'd, I was already, I'd already gotten rid of the, um, the properties and stuff that I had. That was probably early, Late nineties, because that that's a business where, unlike what you're doing now, it's not portable. Right, you can't take the properties with you. Right, right. And, was, and that, was, that was the bad part is I, I had all my properties in one city. Yeah, and um, one plant shut down. Oh, and when it shut down, I People lost thirty percent of my paying tenants. And when I say I lost them, they didn't go anywhere. Yeah, they're, they're, they they just could no squatting. longer. Yeah, they just yeah. could no longer pay. And, the, and so the whole area was was a mess. And I made it out by the skin of my teeth. And I'm like, I, you know. Well, I'm good. That's stress right there. So, you know, being 26 years, I mean, I bounced around from unit to unit for a while mm-hmm. as I kept moving up in the, on the food chain, mm-hmm. you know, I did six years with the Lurch unit. I loved it. I mean, we did, we did stuff with the, with the police and stuff. Like we were like, cool. You know, peeping in on people and nice. you know, doing all the cool stuff where we're like going, jumping on, uh, jumping on turn one at the Indy 500. You know, I got to do all kinds of fun. Nice. All the fun stuff you see in the movies, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, jumping out of planes, spying on people. It was just fun. I mean, yeah. loved it. Um, during that time frame, you know, I had the 
uh, well, I started off when I was 19. I still had my mm-hmm. DJ business when I joined the military. Mm-hmm. I found out that doesn't act. You can't be a DJ. <laughs> You're getting done at 2.30 in the morning. You got to be a – I was not – I started off – PT at 5. I was not the ideal soldier. When I started <laughs> off, I was not at all. Yeah. It was terrible. I was uh, – no, I, 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 I was not doing my dad yeah. justice. So, yeah. um, But, you know, things turn around. The uh, so I've always been an entrepreneur. I've always been wanting to do things. In two thousand three, mm-hmm. um, I started up a website design company, and then I got activated to go work at Camp Atterbury, yeah. and I was like, oh no! And but I was able to build that company. Um, I had it for ten years, mm-hmm. and um, had over a hundred and something clients by the time that when I ended up selling it in two thousand thirteen. You know, so it's. I retired in 2012. Mm -hmm. So when it was going through that transition process, I'm like, I'm good. I don't need any of the, I don't need the resume classes. I don't need this. I've already got an established business. So, so a lot of guys in transition class, TAPS class, Mm -hmm. you know, they are looking for a job. They are looking to be cop, firefighter, post I mean, I don't know the jobs. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's a veteran either watching this live right now or watching the replay. What would you say to them? That, you know what, I know you're looking for a job, but you're retiring now or you got some VA pay coming in because of disabilities. Why don't you take a step at entrepreneurship? Why would why would you even consider going in business for yourself? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Um, Well, number one, I'd be like, find uh, it it was easy for me because I knew I was retiring. Mm -hmm. Right. So I had that income coming in. Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. I'm all they also have me at 60 percent disabled. My back is all jacked. (laughs) Right. We we had some I had some PTSD issues coming back from Afghanistan. Sure. Um, So. Uh, I had that income coming in. Mm-hmm. Plus, I'd already had a, a business. But if you don't have a business, like if you're coming out of the military and you have, a, let's say you have an idea, yeah, something that you know would work because these products actually came from. And yeah, we're going to sample here in a minute. Yeah, or came uh, from my military experience. Ah, um, okay, and things that I figured that we wanted and, and stuff like that. So if you have an idea and there's something that you think you want to start or you want to be an entrepreneur, that's great. You but you need to start doing the planning phase. But make sure you have like a job, some way to pay. For your bills because that will crush it, it'll do one of two things it'll either you got to make it and yep. you will make it right then and there or you're mm-hmm. going to crash and burn so yep. if you have a, the opportunity to get yourself a steady income coming into where you can pay the bills yep do that and then start building on your dream don't yep. just that's what i did I, I was a i was a server at olive garden mm-hmm. i was a jiffy lube head technician and i was a lifeguard at the ymca <laughs> to get my financial business started yeah, and so, I mean, you, but yeah. I mean, it was paying the bills. Yeah, right? paying the bills. You know, Correct. feed my family. You know, and I mean, even you know, I've had Range of Nutrition around for like a year and a half. I've been making products since 2013, and there's still there's some days where I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> right? I'm like, how hard would it be just to go out and get a corporate job and just not have to worry about <laughs> any of this, right? So, yeah. but everybody goes through that. So yeah. if you're thinking about being an entrepreneur, if you have a great idea or something like that, we're going to talk about like finding a tribe, finding a pattern. Yeah. Um, finding people that will help you do this because at some point you're going to end up spinning your gears yep. and you're just going to plateau and you're going to be like, what do I do next? Yep. Exactly. And, I mean, every, uh, I don't know anybody that doesn't happen to. So let's talk about your, 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 tra- uh, your transition to starting Ranger Nutrition. Okay. Obviously from your career background, ra- being a Ranger, mm-hmm. you use the Ranger Nutrition. Right. It was that, I, I assume that was it, right? Correct. Sure. And plus it's attractive. To, like if, if I'm, Looking at products, the range of nutrition sounds kind of cool versus, you know, X, Y, Z nutrition because right, or, the, the engagement within the military veteran community. It's like, Ranger, I wonder if this guy's right. Right. That's what I would be thinking. Right. Right. So, um, so how, how'd you get this business started? Um, actually, it was just off of a, off of a need, you know, because, of, like, okay, so, you know, I had this injury. So back in 98, my parachute didn't open up all the way. Mm. And when I when I was able to get full can, I had a thing called a May West, and that's where you shoot instead of having full canopy, you have this. And I could see what the issue was. And every time I shook my parachute, it started to move over. And I'm like, I'm fixing it. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah, fix the problem. Yeah, yeah. And I'm jumping with full combat equipment. Yeah. How, how many pounds of gear? That was probably about sixty five, wow. maybe. Well, I mean, when you yeah. consider your weapon, you got the reserve shoot, the shoot itself. Yeah. Um, and you know, somebody's going pull your reserve. <laughs> I don't know if they're talking to me. I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I'm like, I see what the problem is. I'm going to fix it. Right. And so, you know, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom. Full canopy. And then what you do is you want to, you want to, you never want to land with your combat equipment on. No. Hook to you. Yeah. Right. Well, 
I went to release it. Yeah. And right when I looked down and grabbed the, the rip cord to release it, that's when I hit. Already. That's, that's when you hit the I hit. Yeah. Wow. It's, so, it just goes by so fast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause you're falling at a yeah. faster rate yeah. per minute, but you know, <laughs> it was a dumb move, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna, it Oops. was right. Ah. Right. It was one of those things. And I tell you what, it was a bell ringer as well, but luckily, you know what, because I had that gear on, mm -hmm. it saved my legs. Right. Okay. The, the frame itself actually bent. Wow. So it took the impact. Wow. Um, and so it saved my legs, but I, you know, at this point I have degenerative back disease. That's where it came from. Yeah, that's yeah. where a good start of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because really, think about it. We were on a mission. Wow. We were in uh, Louisiana or something like that. And uh, we were on a mission. So 30 minutes later, I'm strapping on that rucksack and we're heading out 12 miles to, yeah. to our objective. Yeah. You know, now when they said, hey, who wants to drive back because we need a ground crew to, you know, mm -hmm. no, I'll do that one. Mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. drive back on that trip. But, yeah. you know, the next yeah. time we got to jump, I was definitely all up in the air. I loved it. It was so much fun. Um, but it actually did more damage than what, look, when you, I mean, when you're rangered up, you know, you're just like, you know, somebody be like, oh, you're shot. And you'd be like, eh, uh, we're all right. Yeah, it was you know, like, let's continue let's on the mission. Go, yeah. I mean, I knew I was hurting, but we had a mission to do and yeah. rangers complete the mission. Yeah. So that's what, that's what I did. I have time to hurt later. Right. You know? <laughs> got time to hurt and time to bleed later. Um, yep. You know, send us to uh, um, Afghanistan. We're getting beat up a lot on these, these MRAPs bouncing around and things like that. Mm. And um, I ended up getting a hernia. While I was over there, I had to get surgery. They sent me to Qatar. Wow. Um, came back and um, we ended up losing like the first time. So I, I went from being in charge of the QRF uh, and the BDOC to, which is the Base Defense Operations Center. Basically, mm -hmm. when something blows up, I'm in charge of the guys <laughs> and, you know, they're, we're handling business. Yep. So, yep. but then my first sergeant got injured and then I had to take over, I finished my deployment as first sergeant. I so didn't want to do that. I'm not so not a beans and bullets <laughs> yeah. type of guy, right? Yeah. You know, so during this time frame, we would take any product that we could get. If you know, if you've been deployed or whatever, you, whatever the PX has is yeah. what you're taking. Yep. I think at the time ours was uh, NO Explode. Pretty sure it was. Yep. And um, I remember an event that uh, that we had where we, uh, um, well, you know, we worked out almost every day. Mm -hmm. right? Of course. Well, like, well, we did work out every day. And then it was like, sometimes it was twice a day. And uh, we took pre-workout, was headed to the gym, right? Something blew up or whatever. So we're no longer going to the gym, right? Now we're dealing with this. Yeah. 20 minutes later, I'm shaky, right? And I know my other guys are shaky. Because, so now, because of the... Uh, but yeah, because of what was in it, yeah. the, the beta alanine and stuff that makes yeah, you shaky. Yeah, yeah. You're not doing this. You're ramped up to... So it's not the to, niacin. Oh, uh, niacin makes you itch. Yeah. Yeah. Like, have you ever had that where, yeah, I get, where you, yeah. you itchy skin? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. And that, no. that flush. Yeah, and see, and see, and I'm old, yeah. right? So I can't, <laughs> I don't like that kind of stuff. But my, my whole thought yeah. process was, is when I when I came back, you know, they claimed me at 60% disabled, and um, I did take a break from working out. Like, you know, you mm -hmm. do that, you have to do that stuff mm -hmm. or do it so long. Once you're out of the military, you don't want to wake up at 530 in the morning yeah. to work out. Right. Right. So yeah, I remember gaining 50 pounds out of, 40, 38, 40 waist. It was, it wasn't pretty. Yeah. Well, I, I, I did. Luckily I was in really good shape when I came back from Afghanistan and I used it to get the girl. And then I let my body go. to shape. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, That's I it. got the girl. There you go. Now let's get comfortable. Yeah. Right? right. And so I developed a pretty amazing dad bod. Yeah, right. Dad bod. <laughs> dad bod or vet bod, whatever, you know, it's just the same thing as a dad bod, except you got a beard. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, but then my, then I started having issues with my back. Okay. Do something stupid. like reach for my toothbrush and, ah, you know, throw my back out. One time I sneezed, I was back, my back was out for like four days. You sneezed and you pulled your back out. Mm -hmm. Son of I a think bitch. I grabbed for a <laughs> bottle of water in the fridge one time and I was like, oh, you know, Tweet. and I was like, gosh, this is dumb. And then you just feel that. Right. Yeah. And, and then you're jacked up. So I'm like, okay, I have to get back into working out. I have to do it. So then I started working out again. Mm -hmm. Well, like anybody else who works out, if you guys like working out, mm -hmm. um, you, you want to make the most of them. So mm -hmm. you start taking nutritional products, protein powder, pre-workouts, um, BCAAs, any kind of fat burner, whatever, yeah. right? You, you start taking stuff. And I didn't like a lot of the products I was taking, hmm. you know, I yeah. don't. And I was doing that for a while. Now, during this time I owned, I still own my website design company. So that was doing fine. I'm just doing, you know, I'm working out yeah. and all that. And we have a part where, uh, 
you ever like go to dinner with somebody and about three hours into it, you just start complaining about life. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're past all the formalities, right? You're, you know, and you're just like, Oh gosh, protein powders taste like chalk. Pre-workouts make me shaky. BCAAs taste, you know, yeah. tastes like crap. Right. 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 Well, tastes like medicine. This, right. Yeah. And guess what? Well, as I'm doing this, I'm talking to a couple of buddies of mine that I hadn't seen forever and they're chemists that they, they really? went to Berkeley university wow. and uh, they have very high paying jobs that, Excuse me. That don't do natural chemistry. <laughs> so when I was complaining about that, they go, do you want to make some stuff? I'm like, is that even an option? Right. They, cool. we, we, they're like, we never get to do like what we went to school for. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. Let's, let's see what happens. So I got to, okay. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I don't want to make anything. I don't want me to be shaky. Yeah. Right. I'm using my military experience. I don't want to be shaky. I want to do stuff. I want to make it military grade because, uh, have you ever taken, well, have you ever known somebody while you're in the military where you took a product and it, it gave you a false positive on a drug test? Yeah. Yeah. And they're always piss testing all the time. Right. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah, now, yeah. now it comes out in the wash eventually, mm -hmm. right? That, but you know, puts undue stress on the soldier. Yeah. Puts undue stress on the command. Yeah. Right. Then you have to have these. Like simple stuff like poppy seeds would pop up. <laughs> right. And, yeah. And eagles. Right. Well, yeah. you'd have to eat an awful lot of bagels. Yeah. Well, so what, what, yeah. I don't yeah. know about that. But yeah. uh, so what I did was I, I made sure that none of the ingredients that I had my products would do that. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm like, let's make this stuff military grade where it can actually go the distance to where it could do what I want it to do. Mm -hmm. You know, what would I want it to take if I was in the military? But what do I want to take right now? Being an old guy who, you know, yeah. has to work out to basically because I mean, I do. I, you know, I'll fall apart if I don't. Right. So now I'll never be the kind of guy that has six pack abs. Um, because I have sponsored athletes for that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because um, uh, I, I ended up getting, you know, it was funny. When I had the dad bod, my uh, marriage was good. I, I came back and I changed it all around. And then uh, she's like, yeah, no, I, th I think we should probably get divorced. I'm like, okay, great. You realize I have the body for dating. <laughs> and she's like, yes. So Tinder, Tinder was good for me. Yeah. <laughs> Tinder, Tinder was good to me. Swipe. Um, Swipe. And now I'm with an amazing woman that uh, oh, good. She, said, she said, you know what? She goes, you never have to have six pack abs, but don't ever lose those shoulders and traps. Huh. And I'm like, yeah, I can do pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I can eat pizza and ice cream and keep those things. Right. You know, cool. it's like, why would I want to get rid of oh, those? Man, freaking abs. I know. Right. So, so, you know, when I, when I was thinking about these products and what I did, my biggest thing was, was flavor. Right. I mean, the science is out there. We know mm -hmm. that if you do a two, uh, a 2.11 on the, on the BCAAs, which is a combination of protein, carbs and, um, amino acids, okay. right? That it's a solid, it, it works, it's effective. Mm -hmm. But why does it have to taste terrible? <laughs> yeah, right, right. So we spent a lot of time making things taste good because my whole philosophy was if it tastes good, you'll continue to use it. How many times have you bought a container of something, yeah. tasted it and right. was like, nope. And you, and that was it. You're mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. You know, so I even, um, I even made a workout sample pack where people can go to my website, spend nine dollars and ninety-seven cents, comes with free shipping, yep. and it has a sample of everything that I have. What's the website? Rangernutrition.com. Let's put that up there. It's kind of hard to remember. Yeah, put that I know there. I made it very complicated. Right, Ranger. I got to keep sign things, language. I got to keep things simple. I'm a yeah. simple man. Make sure you get your uh, sample pack out there. Yeah, it's so, working out. Or I mean, or feel free to buy a full bottle of something. Yeah, it's a man. Cool. It, um, you know, when it came to the protein, GNC kind of got me. Right, I bought a yeah. thing of jeans. I was like, oh. Yeah. Why, what you know? Why does this taste terrible? And then it was like, "Hey, dummy, uh, <laughs> you have chemists. Make your own." <laughs> so, yeah. so what you got? You brought, you brought some stuff here. I did. I brought I brought a couple things. I brought right. the um, um, Max out, which is which is the pre workout. Cool. If you're old like me, or even young like me, but you don't like a product that um, is like crazy stimulant that doesn't make you shake your nauseous. 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 Yep. By the way, if you guys are watching this right now, you're watching the Money Smart Show here Friday, Red Friday veteran edition and i'm here with my man scott hardesty former airborne ranger now owns a company called ranger nutrition and by the way if you guys show, share this video um let us know the person that shares this video the most before we're done in about oh about uh, 15 minutes uh this person that shares this most we will send you a product from my from 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 our office from his warehouse to your house to, to your house or your office. So uh person that shares this the most, you get a little prize from us. Well, we can actually shoot it straight from my place. Nice. You don't need for it to bounce around. No, 
Right. Direct. <laughs> right. Doing direct. Yeah. It's like, uh, there's well, no need to come here first just for it to go. I'll to buy that. it. I'll buy it. Right. I'll, I'll slide my credit card for those of you guys share this the most. I'll buy it as a thank you to you guys watching the show. And of course, to here to support a fellow veteran entrepreneur. But uh, make sure you share this here the most times in the next 15 minutes before the show ends. So, cool. the, so that's, that's pre-workout. That is. And um, thank you for, I forgot my spoon, so they were so kind to bring me a knife. Anything would have stirred, you know what I mean? I used a pen. Yeah. That's what would have to, to, yeah. to done it. Yeah, so I got a K-bar right here, baby. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I can see the, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it starts leaking out everywhere while uh, Are you stirring it. So this is the fruit punch flavor. Um, let me go ahead and give that a shot. Oh, here we go. Hey, Brandon, you want to give a shot to you, bro? Let's, let's, let's get another. Uh, yeah, we can get these going. These are full samples, too. Actually, I'm going to make myself one cool. because you know why? Because I'm the owner. Yeah, that's it. They go be dub. And I can do that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Try this, bro. You were like, let's edit some video. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you guys didn't know this, this is Brandon Ballard. He's a guy behind our vlogs. Every Sunday morning, we launch a vlog. It's his creativity behind it, his thought process. I just I just do the easy part and just uh, share some stuff in the camera, but it's Brandon. So we're going to have some pre-workout here by Ranger Nutrition. Let's do it. All right? You'll be vlogging until 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, editing <laughs> vlogs until 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Cheers, gents. I know. Hang on a second. Okay. Hang on. Oh, you, you too. You got it. You, you, you have to. I, this is what I learned. My girlfriend's like very... Um, um, Polite and correct <laughs> with uh, what's your girlfriend's like, name, by the way? I call her Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss, she's Swiss, is she Swiss? And she's a miss, which means she's not married. Nice. Nice. Uh -huh. I'm so wait, I so cannot wait for the day that I never ask her to marry me. It's gonna be great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, I've said that to her, she goes, Dang it, because I was so looking forward to telling you no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're, like, we're like the perfect couple, so cheers, cheers. All right. gentlemen. Range of nutrition, baby. I'm doing a full serving because I like it. Hey, now here's one of those things. Um, you know what this ha this has um, no carbs and less than uh, a half a gram, <sighs> a half a milligram of uh, sugar in it. So do push yeah. ups. <laughs> Something's gonna happen here by, by, the, <laughs> by the time this is over. You gotta make sure you stay tuned, right? right. Um, and that's one thing. And then uh, the protein. So here's the thing. This whole company was like an accident, right? In in theory. Wow. Because I just wanted to make products for me, right? To help, but, to help you with your stuff. Right. You know, I just wanted to, you know, so that's why Max Out tastes like fruit punch because it reminds me of like the old day, the, you know, back when you had like uh, Kool Aid, yeah. right? The, the fruit punch Kool Aid. So that was my favorite. That was one. awesome, man. It was good. Um, so, you know, we were able to make it, we were able to make it taste like that. Good luck reading that. It's, it's yeah. so small. Yeah, right, my right. eyes aren't even good. I can't even tell you what's in it anymore. Oh, there's creatine in there. Oh, yeah. Three grams. Cool. And three grams of beta alanine. Very nice. Except, uh, We'll see how you do with that. <laughs> <laughs> you, should yeah. be, you should be okay. Welcome to the Money Smart Show. Uh, it's like we're doing a marathon of them. Well, you do them right after another. Right. Um, you know, it. and so it was just a, it was just one of those things like where um, I would share it with my friends um, in the gym, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Oh my gosh, this is awesome! What is it called?" And I'm like, "Uh," and they're like, "How much is it?" And I'm like, "Please hold." <laughs> Because <laughs> now I got to figure it out. I can't just sell this in like a Ziploc baggie right, to my right, friends. Right. I mean, well, you can. One I mean, powder. my friends would. Yeah. My friends would buy it that way. Cool. So nice. But then I had to get it manufactured. And with me, you know, uh, come on, being a veteran, you just can't. I just can't go out and get that stuff from China. Yeah, right. No, you know, no. I mean, like that's not an option. No. So I had to do some research. Yeah, um, yeah you got to. You know, once 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 I realized. Well, first once we got it to do what I wanted because yeah. we didn't quite nail it at first. There's a couple of times I was like, I think we got some problems. I don't think this mix is good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I get to fine tune it to me. But so, then, then, so that's the thing about creating a product. You got to go through a lot of testing, sample, you know, mm -hmm. therefore, the, therefore you can deliver. A, I mean, this is a great product. So yeah, but it, it didn't come right, out that way. Right. Yeah. How many, how many mistakes did you make? Uh, before I like you, to before think they were adjustments. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not necessarily. How many adjustments? How many tweaks? Um, how many iterations? I mean, let me look at. Um, well over. Well over 22, 20, That's not 25. bad. Because you know, you know where WD-40 comes from? Yeah, 40 times. Of the yeah, life. 39 mistakes. Yeah, and they got it right on or the 40. Or adjustments. Right. Right. You know. Where, um, you, where, where do you think preparation H came from? <laughs> they're probably going down the alphabet. A right? still burns. <laughs> yeah. B still, uh, still burns. And it's like, oh, and that just sealed up my whole bottle. <laughs> that is too strong. That is prescription. Way past prescription. Preparation H. Ah, relieving. Boom. Yeah. Take it to market. So... 
you know, then what do you do when you come up with something like this? Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. now you got to do like research. So if you're thinking about a product and do your research, what I did was I thank God we have Google and the internet. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah, I don't know how they did it back in like yes. the eighties and nineties. Spent thousands but, of dollars for somebody to research. Yeah, right. And what we did was we went, we uh, um, did research, and I found the top twelve manufacturing plants in the U.S. Hmm. that do like sports nutrition stuff. And I went and visited all twelve. Good. Didn't call them up. Well, wow. just went and visited them. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. And some of them, you know, it's about my whole process was my whole thought plan is if you can't show me. Mm -hmm how you make it. Yeah. And if you can't show me your raw materials, we get a problem. Got it. You should be able to do that at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not an inspector. I don't know how to, I'm not white gloving it. Yeah. Right. I just want to see how you make your stuff. I want to see where it comes from. And out of those, we chose to work with uh, two companies and, um, and I, I wanted to make sure I just didn't keep everything under one hat. Okay. Right. Because in th this way, if something happens with one, See, that's, that's a smart, that's a smart thing. What he's saying is that he's not depending on one, one um, manufacturer, manufacturer right. first product. He's got two. And by the way, we do that same thing too in the insurance industry. We just don't want one carrier because yeah. they, you don't want them getting all lazy on you. You want them always stepping up their deal. So therefore you can provide the best product to your customer. Right. And, and I mean, because to, to me, they're basically the same. Mm -hmm. You know, I uh, to me, it came down to raw materials yep. and how they're stored. Yep. Right where they're sourced from and all that, and I found two places that were basically identical. Mm -hmm. They all had the high ratings and stuff yeah. like that. And I ain't telling you who it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> you gotta figure yeah. it out on yourself. You, you, I might have different standards than you, so you're gonna have to figure that one out on your own. See, competition is good. Lots of times people think competition is bad, but competition made you say, "I want to be a ranger," right? Instead of just being the average ordinary mm -hmm. soldier, not in a leadership position. Mm -hmm. I want to be a leader in a leadership position. I want to be a ranger. And same thing here too, as well. I want I want competition to bring out the best product for me. Keeps the price down, keeps the quality high, and keeps your customers happy and keeps you profitable. Yeah, and even when uh, you know when I had the chance to uh, go to Afghanistan, I said, "Send me as a ranger. Don't have me do yeah. like public <laughs> affairs, <laughs> right?" Which I did that for like six years. When I, I got, yeah, they put me to Atterbury for six, and I did that. You know, that was like the most fun. That got me used to being in front of the camera. Cool, the Very video good. stuff. Let's, let, by the way, let's talk about that because you're something you're very natural in, and you told me that you also. Do this with uh, Bunker Labs mm -hmm. too as well. Yep. So if you're a veteran out there, you know, in this day and age where everything's right here in your hand, you know, podcasts are in your hand, live stream is in your hand, live stream Instagram, live stream YouTube, live stream Facebook, which is streaming right now on, 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 on those channels. What would you say to a veteran out there if he wants to put his product out there? You better market yourself. You better brand yourself. Yeah. Um I mean, branding, branding is important, but like before you even, before you even get to that part, you got to make sure that whatever product or service you're offering, yep. does anybody even want it? Yeah, 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 right. Sure. Can you sell this product? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Because I've, I've seen a lot of people that um, they have this great idea, right? They put a bunch of money into this idea yep. and it not go anywhere. Right. And so what's the best way to do that without, what's a great way to start your business without putting all this money in branding without putting all this money in, in product creation. Okay. Let's say, well, I can only talk like, well, no, I used to do websites, so I can talk about a service or perfect. Okay. Yeah. So let, let's say if you're in the service industry hey, and if you're in the service industry and you, you, you want to see if somebody's going to actually pay you for your services, here's what you do first. You get somebody to pay you for your services, <laughs> right? If you can get one person to do it, yeah, you can get others to do it. And I'm yeah. not talking about doing it by being shady or something like that. Yeah. I'm saying, like, you know, I started off by building websites, and I was active duty military at the time. Yeah. And, you know, it was it was just one of those things where I was like, I think I want to build websites. And mm -hmm. I had a person go, oh, my gosh, we've been looking for one. Done. Oh. Right now, did I know anything about websites? Absolutely not. <laughs> right. Did I figure it out? Absolutely, yeah. so you, you, I did. You, you skilled up. Yeah. Right. So, and, and you have to wait for a, a full blown college degree, wait for your GI Bill to take the trace. You don't have to wait for your 27 page business plan that, you know what I mean? That, yeah. you know, you don't yeah. have to wait for all of that, yeah. but some people do. So some people will get so hung up over the, uh, um, the ones and zeros mm -hmm. basically yeah. over what they need to do a business. Then to just even see if the idea is going to work. By the way, this, pre, this it's kicking in. <laughs> the the pre-workout's kicking in right now. I, I feel it, man. Have, like, you, didn't you, have you not eaten today? I 
I had one bite of uh, oh, a tuna salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pond. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> oh, man. Well, my wife is down there. She'll do mouth to mouth. Yeah. Let me apologize for what's about to happen to your body. <laughs> my face about to turn as red as my, my sweatshirt. So if you're doing it, let's say you're doing a product. Okay. Um, you, it's very easy to go out and ask your friends if, or people that you know, or just do a survey, would you buy this product if I made it? But it's different if you can actually get them to buy the product. Right. They'll take it for me for free, no problem. But would you exchange money for right. this value? Right. Right. So, and, and it, it could be just as easy enough as, as doing a survey, yeah. you know, making a prototype, right? I mean, it's, it's so much easier to sell something if you have something to sell. Yeah. Okay. So when you're doing a product and you think you want to do this, do a makeshift yeah. version of it. See if somebody, let somebody test it out, see if they like it, see if it's even viable is is friends and family enough or do you have to do enough length and you know volume of research to get enough data from multiple different data points to see if it, it is viable because your friends and family might be biased yeah well and the thing is is like I, I'm, I'm not i'm not really sure that my mom even still understands what i do <laughs> right i mean she knows i'm retired she knows i do something so i don't really see where we're friends maybe mm -hmm. right because you know you have your you have your different circles right right my, you, when you're in her family, mm -hmm. okay, they've seen you do all the dumb stuff, and you'll yeah. always be that that guy or that the girl. dumb kid growing up, right? right? So yeah. they're never gonna buy. No matter how long you're in the military, I find it so much easier <laughs> yeah. to uh, do it with strangers. Now, I had a small group of friends that uh, that I was like, <laughs> we would make some stuff, and I'm like, I think this is good. Give it a shot. <laughs> tell me, tell me what it does to you, <laughs> right? And so I would have the group of people that yeah. would let me test it out with them. Yeah. Yep. Right. And if they were like, oh, my gosh, I would do that. I'll, cool. I'll buy that product. So start off small, do some tester groups, you know, sell to a stranger, sell to whatever. There's so many different Facebook groups that no matter what you're into, you can get into those groups and see what other people are doing. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it's just sure by the way we're connected now. It's a lot. Easier. Uh, so, yeah. Easier but then it's also overwhelming, too. Yeah. You yeah. know. I mean, just staying on top of all that is just kind of craziness. And I would say that if you're going doing the Facebook group route, you got to be consistent with it. That way, the weaker players, the weaker players over a period of time, they get exhausted, they get fatigued, and they'll just find something else to do. Mm -hmm. Like I was just uh, sharing with uh, a couple of my, I was sharing with uh, Tone Fernandez or one of our guys. Like I've seen guys, and even in my space, even in the financial and insurance world, mm -hmm. I see them in the last three years start four different companies because they just can't get one down. Oh, yeah, that well, and that's um, you see that too a lot with the network marketing, yeah, right? Yeah, They'll be yeah. selling one product, they switch either, to another, yeah, they switch yeah. to another, and that kind of like, yeah, but also you also don't want to do that thing either. If you're, I, I got like 4,300 friends on, on Facebook, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't even know them, but here's what always weirds me out is, and don't do this, this is one thing that you don't want to do. Let's say you're a friend with somebody, you haven't talked to them forever, and all of a sudden. Here's a link to my stuff. Not hello, how you doing? Catch me right. up. How is life? No, right. I haven't I, talked to you in ten years since high school. Buy my shit. Right. No and, nor yeah. and normally that's that's that that'll show up in your in your DMs all the time. Yeah. You no, know, just not good. like you haven't. I'm like, who's this sending me a link to? <laughs> right. Number one, there's and I remember them from high school. They were knucklehead. Well, no, and, yeah. and it's like I don't even know this person. They haven't interacted with me. Yeah before yeah. and then they're just sending me this link and yeah. you know that with the hackers and stuff out there mm -hmm. i'm like i'm not and i normally reply not clicking on this yeah right yeah you want no, no trojan you know, horse on right. on you your know computer. because a lot of people do that and then yeah. and then they do it or if you're in a group learn the group interact let them know you like personally a little bit before you just start provide some value interact like comment share yeah, yeah. before you pitch yeah i mean a lot of times i mean i don't if you watch the videos I have, that none of them really make sense on anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of like true content. They're like, this guy's an idiot. Yeah, I yeah. might check and see what he's got going yeah, on, you know. And that's yeah. that's about the only thing. Yeah. What else you got there, man? What what other products you got? What, what um, else did you make? Uh, so the you got to have a good protein shake, right? Come that, on, that's man. where that's where GNC got me, right? So yeah. we developed um, a protein powder. Nice. Uh, I, have, I have chocolate and vanilla. Cool. What, what's your favorite? I, I like chocolate. Okay, you know what? My chocolate tastes like hot chocolate, but without the milk. Really? Mm -hmm. Like I don't put milk with any of my products. The vanilla, um, I can actually with the protein, we could actually put it in a glass and stir it, and oh. it would dissolve. I like using. So you don't need a shaker. You don't. Mm -hmm. Wow. No Good. shaker bottle needed. 
I also don't use milk for my cereal anymore because I'll, I'll eat like Cheerios every mm-hmm. now and then, like the normal plain yeah, yeah, boring, yeah. right? Because you want some. How, like, how many of veterans fought for the Frosted Flakes at the Chow Hall? Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> But bust open that box a little bit, pour your milk inside there, eat it with a right. spoon. Yeah. But uh, with this, um, see how much water I got in there. I want to make sure it's not too rough. Too, uh, so he's got a little fun. You got a little funnel system. In I got there. a funnel. Here, I'll hold it. Yep. Wait, well, thank you. Okay. So we'll put that in there. It's like a, it's like changing oil. Like me, I like to, I like it a little bit. A little, little, little thick. Little, 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 little yummy yum. There you go. Right. We just do that. And here's what I'll do. I'll normally just shake or I'll put this together. I, uh-huh. I do two full scoops because. Each scoop has got 24 grams of protein. I'll, I'll do this before I go work out. Mm-hmm. And because you know you're going to throw these water bottles away anyways. Right. Nothing's worse than like <laughs> run into a shaker bottle that you had three days ago and you left in your gym bag. And then stay. Right? <laughs> and and then like, you open it up. I'm and, not sure if I want to wash this. Right. You're just like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is terrible. Right, right. Well, you know, so that's what I – and that's boom, and oh, it's geez. done, and it's ready to go. Now, when we were making that, I just wanted to make a protein that tasted good because that was my that was my big thing. And – um, I didn't want it to have all the extra stuff that I needed. When I was talking to him, I'm like, it's good, man. <laughs> it doesn't clump up. It's the, no, it's not thick. It's not heavy. Uh-uh. It doesn't bloat you or give you gas. <laughs> Got natural gas. I don't need to add no, to I'm it. Just, <laughs> you know, so it doesn't do that. But, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, I want to, I just want a basic protein. So it's not a meal replacement. It's not, you know, I want something that'll get into my system quick. Something that's, that's something good. that's low I'm, sugar. I'm, do- I'm dogging it down. Yeah. I mean, I have bariatric patients that take that because they have they have to do so much protein. They have a hard time in taking it. But that's so. And the protein is not sticking to the wall of the mm-hmm. of the, bo- of the bottle. Mm-hmm. Sure. On the on my website, I do a video where uh, I mix it up in a in a in a clear glass, and then I pour it through a strainer immediately afterwards, just wow. to show them that it's there's no clumps. Right, just goes right through. So what's the what's the name of this? Share sh- everybody the bottle. Well, it's called Whey Protein. Way cool. No cool name for that. It's just freaking whey protein. <laughs> but the, the vanilla tastes like almost, uh, it's like a very creamy vanilla. Tastes uh, almost like birthday cake, almost. And I use that for milk, for my cereal. Wow. Right? Put that in a glass, stir it around, and then just pour it in instead of that. Bottle's then, empty, man. I feel yeah. better now. I got my protein for the day. Now, I already made up um, uh, one product I got. is called Ranger Candy. And... <laughs> doing, doing ranger stuff ranger candy to us was motrin it comes in white it comes in white yeah it comes in white this is actually a powder that turns into a liquid gotcha. um kind of like the pre-workout but i uh um i had one guy send it back or send me a note going yeah. he goes i could have swore when i opened this up it's gonna be nothing but motrin in it <laughs> <laughs> you know so he's like yeah um but yeah. this like one scoop this is it I, I gave it a, i gave it a cool label like that See, nice. Ranger Candy. Ranger yeah. Candy. I gave it a cool looking label. Nice. It's a candy flavor, um, hence Ranger Candy. And uh, one like one scoop will do this much water. So I pre-made this up before we came because that's how. Okay. And then I take this to the gym and I just drink it while I'm working out because I, I drink a lot of water. What is, what is Ranger Candy though? Is Ranger it- Candy, it's a BCAA, it's a basic chain amino acid. And what it does, it helps replace uh, the, unless you have like a really good diet. You're mm-hmm. not getting all the aminos in that you need to help support your your muscles and stuff like that. So, like guys like me, you know, uh, we're like terminally skinny, but we can go and hump twenty miles and and we can do our twenty five pull ups and you know you know you know, mm-hmm. the, t- you know mm-hmm. the type right. Then you got your body types stocky, obviously show the strength. Guys like me may not be able to lift as much, but we can get behind and do you know two twenty five. Uh, how, how do we? How do we? Is there? hope for us is there any hope to, for us to bulk up or bcaa's protein what's what's the deal um you know i work with a lot of trainers because I, I mean i'm not one let's let's get this right i'm just an old guy who lifts <laughs> 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 and i just made products that i wanted to that i wanted to make but here's here was kind of the general rule that we we did growing up mm-hmm. or as we were going through um you know about one gram of, of protein per your body weight right. 1.5 if you want to bulk up uh, now think about that. I'm 230. Uh-huh. So that means I have to do 300 grams of protein a day. I literally cannot eat that much. 230. Holy smokes. Yeah. You see, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm like, nor would I want. I mean, I would be eating all the time. And I, I've seen bodybuilders. I've seen the the food plants. I've worked with bodybuilders. Yeah. To so basically, it's the protein. You got you got a protein up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I'm 200 pounds, I need to eat 350 grams of protein. Is, no. is that right? No. 250. No. If you're 200. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, I would do like two. 50, 250, not 350. 
either. And and then how much protein comes in your um each per serving? Each one of my scoops has 24 grams of protein. Okay. Three and a half carbs, cool. one gram of sugar. Yeah. It's all natural. Yeah. You know, when they made when they made it, they go, You won't believe how dissolvable it is. Right. And if you guys are like protein takers, my first, my my reaction was sure it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Because I've dealt with protein that it just, yeah. I mean, my whole goal was, let's just make it taste good. Yeah. Right. Can, can we do that? Can yeah. we just make it taste good? Yeah. And, you know, I've had people go, why do you only have vanilla and chocolate? I'm like, because those are the two flavors I like. Yeah. You don't need no bano, banana, or strawberry, banana and <laughs> cookies and cream. I'd be like, throw a strawberry in the vanilla. Right. <laughs> throw a banana and the chocolate. Throw, it, throw yeah. some freaking Oreos in with that yeah. vanilla, yeah. you know? Um, I got gotcha. you. So that is for recovery, though. And so that'll help you recover a lot quicker. So pre workout. Pre workout, and then recovery. I drink this during, and then I finish it off after my workout, and then I will hammer two scoops of the protein throughout the day. Or no, I just do. It. I just, you know, I just do it right after I work out. Okay. You know, I mean, I I should really look a lot better. <laughs> Me too. All of, all of us. Right? <laughs> you know, I I should. You know, I could be a lot leaner, but I don't like doing cardio. No, <laughs> who, I don't. Hey, uh, who, who does who does like doing cardio? Now you know yeah. what I'll do. Well, I would start doing is I'll throw on a forty pound weight vest, mm -hmm. and then go out on like a six seven mile road march. Got you it. Know. Just walk, just walk along. Huh? Do that here in Chicago, and yeah. people look at you like they're like, "You're wearing a bulletproof yeah, vest." Yeah, Let's not test it. Right? Let's <laughs> not test it. In a Speaking days. of, isn't there a ruck march uh, coming up? There here is. in May. Um, okay, here in Chicago. Yeah, it's like a twenty two miler. Shit. Mm -hmm. That's what the the Chicago veterans. Um, really, Chicago. Uh, I wonder if I can still hump 20 miles. You know what? I don't. Shit. It's like an all day thing. But here, here's the thing. I know some. I know some people that. Uh, yeah. Because you know, because it is like a veteran event. You know how, like, uh, when you're doing like a marathon and you yeah. have the people with the tables and they hear shots of water or electrolytes. Oh, or, okay. Or whatever. Okay. These would be like vodka, bourbon. What <laughs> yeah. do you need? Let's do it. I, got, right? I can definitely do 20 <laughs> right. miles. It, it, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, you really understand this as veterans. <laughs> Not to think that veterans are nothing but a bunch of drunks, but. It's a Sunday. You're rucking. Yeah. Who didn't want? Are you, uh, are you doing it? Oh yeah. I'm doing it with a 40 pound weight vest and uh, all right. A rucksack. Shit, I'm and do it then. Let me do it. Then. Yeah. We right. um. Well, here's the thing. Oh, uh, me giving back. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. I donate five percent of all of my sales to Lift for the 22. Nice. Which is, is Carter? Is Carter here in Chicago? Yeah. Is he? Yep. We need to get him on the show. We need yeah. to get him on here. Um. Yeah. He's actually, buddy. He talks way better than I do. Oh, you're fine, bro. Betterish. Betterish. He, he uses betterish words. Range but, of terminology, betterish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a smart man, but I can snap you in two. <laughs> the, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm like oxen. I can go all day with, you know, yeah. once, once everything goes numb. Yeah, right. Right. I mean, sure. you guys know if you've done yeah. any kind of infantry, once everything yeah. goes numb, you can go forever. Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you, uh, humping? Are you, you wearing Matterhorns or what, what's, what, what's your boot of choice? But you know what? My boot of choice is the new grunt style boots. Really? Mm -hmm. Hey, Grunt plug there for Dan Allard. Yep. No kidding. Grunt Style came out with a with a set of boots. They're Ultimas, and Ultimas was a pretty good yeah. boot for yeah. that. But they have a uh, um, uh, the reason I went with Grunt Style is because they had the free replacement policy. Yeah. Right, so if right. I spill red on my tan boots, <laughs> I can turn them back in for a new pair. Check that out. You don't have. I mean, yeah. If they get dirty and I don't want to clean them, yeah, I can turn them in for a new pair craziness so we're, we're we're doing those boots um five percent of all, all my sales goes to lift for the 22 because what lift for the 22 does is it helps veterans get gym memberships for free yeah and i think yep. that's i mean yep. carter and i are buddies we, we do a lot of stuff together mm -hmm. we make some awkward videos together <laughs> <laughs> when, when they when lift for the 22 had their silkies hike they're like hey scott we want you to put this video together for us and i'm like uh <laughs> We're gonna make this video awkwardly sexy. We, yet the, hey, yet we, the Brandon, we need sexy to is gonna be silent. We need to do an awkward video collaboration with Carter Lift for Twenty Two, right? Scott, it. We'll do something. We'll do something fun. It gets. Yeah. It gets weird, man. Yeah. It gets weird. <laughs> so, but I like Carter. He's a good guy. He's very passionate, and yeah. it. You know, you, you see all these veteran organizations out there, and you can't really figure out what they do. It's very simple what Carter does. He does one thing, and they do one thing well. We get. But we partner up with gyms. Yeah. To have them give veterans memberships for free. Yep. Yep. Or we raise money and we pay for them if they can't get them for free. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So great, I mean, great way to rechannel. You know, the, the reason why a lot of guys, you know, we dealt with both PTSD and obviously cars in that space. But think about that, though. The, the reason why guys stay in their PTSD cycle is because they've got nothing forward to look forward to. Right. 
they're, they're stuck in their rearview mirror by themselves, isolated. Yeah. Whereas entrepreneurship for you and I has been like the, how here's how I would channel that er energy. Yeah. But you know forward. what? That you're alone a lot too during the entrepreneurial part. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like when you, when you're, when sure. you have that tribe, sure. You have your team. Yep. You get out of the military and I don't care what you're doing next. Yep. Yep. You don't have, you yeah. don't have that tribe anymore. Yeah. So even as Ranger Nutrition, I don't have the same group of people. I don't have yeah. that camaraderie. I don't have that tribe. Yeah. You don't yeah. have your platoon. You don't have your right. company. Right. Yep. And, you know, and where everybody's got the same, the same goal and stuff, it's, it's kind of a lonely road. Yeah. So going to the gym or getting involved with a veteran organization is mm -hmm. huge because everybody's like-minded. Yeah. And that's how, that's how we connected through uh, Bunker Labs. Yeah. We, we connected through the Bunker Brews a couple weeks ago. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Cause you're absolutely right. Because it's uh, it is a lonely road out there. It is an Island. And unless you're connecting and networking and sometimes even the veterans there, even though they're amongst veterans, it's still awkward for them. I, I see the network. Yeah. I'm like, bro, loosen up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? What's your name? Well, because you know, everybody, you still have your personality traits. Yeah. So, and then, yeah. so you come to like a, a an event like Bunker Brews and you saw yeah. them there. Yeah, there were some yeah. people that were just like, I'm here, but I don't want to approach anybody. Right, and right. that's kind of where we come in. We will approach you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because they just, you know, it, it's like, it's like yeah. you're back in high school again. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know you mean? I was like, do I make a friend? Do I not make a friend? Do I come sure. off creepy? Yeah. I mean, I know I come <laughs> off creepy all the time. Me too. That's part that's of my that. charm, right? That's They're that. like, oh God, here comes a creepy guy. I mean, I just have that look. So yeah. I know that yeah. if I don't talk to somebody, they're just going to think I'm mad standing in the corner. Yeah. You know, exactly. that's why whenever I was single and dating, I would have drinks with fruit in it because then like he might be approachable. <laughs> <laughs> he He's got a bad. pink drink. He looks right. Okay. Exactly. I love foo foo drinks. Don't think that I don't. And drinking a Cosmo. But you know what? We mentioned Bunker Labs and yeah. Bunker Labs was a huge part for my company because good as I was doing this on my own, I came to a part where I'm like, I don't know. You know, I see these big companies like on nutrition or Cellcor yeah. or, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm like, how do they become multi-million dollar companies? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I had no clue what my financials were. I couldn't tell you what the profit margins were on any of my products. Mm. Even if, or what yeah. my revenue growth rate was, yeah. do I even have a revenue growth yeah, rate? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what any of that. What was. are my data points? Right. How right. do I trend my? How do I track my yeah. trends? Yeah. And uh, um, luckily, um, Bunker Labs they have a program, and if you're a vet, and if you're no matter what phase of business that you're in, um, whether it's just an idea, whether you're trying to get the money to do it, or whether you're actually making money and you want to grow, uh, Bunker Labs has been an integral part of helping me figure out. Um, what those things were like, I mean, you know, yeah. so they have an online program. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. It's a, it's a, it's a non-for-profit organization and it's run by veterans. What's the website? Bunker labs. Is it dot, .org? Is it dot org? It might be. Or dot com. Yes. Yep. One of the two. Yeah. Right. It's not dot net, I don't <laughs> think. but they have an online program because if you, luckily enough, I live in Chicago, so they have their program in Chicago and I, I went there to do that. And, but they have an online version where it will go through. Now, sorry to say, uh, I'm I'm riddled all through that. Videos of me are riddled cool. all through. Very cool. The the online bunker. He's bunker a Chicago lab. bunker lab poster child. Yeah, they uh, they were hurting apparently. They, <laughs> they made me as a They're poster child. Desperate. It's not just me. There's what they did was um, as you go through this program, they show different veterans. Um, there was like a group of five or six of us. We all had different type companies. We were all at different levels cool. of where our company was. Yeah in the process. Right. And so you kind of go along with this yeah. on this 10 week journey as, and you know, because it's like, well, how are you with marketing? You're like, I, I don't know. There it is. Bunkerlab.org. Thanks. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, you know? And so I was able to go through, find out what my financial model was, find out who my real target market was. Mm -hmm. You know, did my numbers make sense before I had five other products yeah. that were, um, we'd already manufactured them. They were running out. I was going to have to make more. And after I met through my with my financial guy who was like, this is your financial forecast. You have five products that only make one percent of the profit of your company. And I'm like, they're done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I just put them up for sale, sold yeah. them off and focus on the one that gives you the most. Margin. Yeah. And, and yeah. focus on the focus on the, the five. Yeah. That's, um, like a, that's like a restaurant that has like six pages of food that yeah, you can order from. But when just, they, yeah. yeah. And they but then they only have, you know, so that food goes rotting. Yep. Because nobody's buying it because they're buying all the top ones. That's right. But you have to be able to take that information. Mm -hmm. No matter, there's a couple of products that I'm, I'm like was fans of. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, 
And I was like, ah. Yeah, put that up. Yeah. I did well. I, yeah. I, I just took them off the website. I, said, yeah, right, I, right, I take right, them. Yeah. I, I kept my my supply. <laughs> right, yeah, your own personal supply. But, right. yeah, but it wasn't selling enough for you to make a profit margin. Uh, well, I mean, they, yeah, there was some enough to make a profit, but that that was the thing. It's like it wasn't going to be worth the money yeah. to remake more. Yeah. Yeah. And then with with the slow with yeah. how they slowly sell. Yep. So you have to take that information that you get, and you have to like learn from it. Mm-hmm. Don't just be bullheaded and go. Yeah. Well, I don't care. I like that product. I'm just going to roll with it. I'm going to make it. You, you can make that yeah, decision. Yeah, yeah. It's going to cost you. <laughs> That's right. You just got to be prepared for the consequences. So instead, what I did was I took the money that I was going to do that, put it more towards these products. Smart. And, you yeah. know, um, and it's then cool. also I was able to find out that I was able to reduce my operations cost by 22%. I wouldn't have known that if I would have, if I'd make some changes. Yeah. So I made those changes. Good. You know, Good. so you're, you're, you're so. Just like you were in the military career, as you go off on your patrol, as you go off on your mission, you're making adjustments right. along the way. Right. And right. you go off of, you know, other people that are smarter than you. If they go, you know what? I've done this before. That ter- that's that's a terrible approach. That's yeah. not going to work. Yeah. Well, then let's hit it from this angle. Yeah. And see, you know. Like I learned from I learned from Scott today. I mean, this banner he's got here in the back. I was about to drop five grand on a mural wallpaper about what we're doing. And he brings this banner, you know, with this guy's big nipple right behind me. <laughs> right. And I'm like, bro, this is this is a one fifth the cost that I have dropped and putting a mirror back here. So and plus we're, we're building a, a, a studio back there. So this this we're in my office right now, but we have the different area. We just moved in this office last couple of weeks. So just learning and working with other veterans allows me to kind of see outside of just myself, too, as well. So, dude, I'm so glad you came by, man. Thank, thanks for uh Max out. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it in my ears. <laughs> you should have. I'm feeling my ears. You, need to, you should have ate more today. I, I know. I, I, I got a, uh, it's fries, so I got a ton of sausage no. and beef back there. He, he's going he's gonna to go out in the parking lot and start lifting up the front of the car. <laughs> do some go, I, I got to lift some cars. Urr. Let's do something. <laughs> you know. Dead this man, but uh, cool, man. Well, I look forward to evolving with you as time goes on and, and continue to build our entrepreneur career uh, community here. And you will go through days. It doesn't matter how good things are going. Yeah. I mean, you're going to go through days where you're just like, the hell am I doing? <laughs> right. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm having one of those days today, yeah. you know, and I'm like, but I'm glad you're yeah, you I'm like, here, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. you still got you still got to not muddle through, yeah. but you still have to, you know, just showing up here and just hanging out with you. It, it's changed my day. Good. Amen right. Now, mine yeah. too. Mine too. Well, yeah, only because you're tingly now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, all, you're all wrapped up in pre work. I'm all rangered up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Brandon, can you put his website up again? Ranger Nutrition. It's rangernutrition.com, right? Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Rangernutrition.com. You can get a free, uh, you said, uh, uh, not a free, not but a free. Uh, but, uh, workout sample. Yeah, it's a workout sample pack. It has, uh, um, like it has two samples of Ranger Candy, it has two samples of the pre workout, has a cardio combo, the protein, each one of the proteins. Um, but what you'll get for me for free, though. Is if you're with the person that shares this the most, share this with the most veteran groups, share this with your timeline, share this with your friends on their timeline. If you share it the most, Brandon's going to do a tally here. If you share it the most, I'll send by you. When? Uh, by when? In the next five minutes. We're about to, we're about to sign up. Well, next oh, two, two minutes here if you're watching it right now. But I'll send you for free because I'm paying for it, his product to your house, from his warehouse to your house. Who picks it? Um, What's what's the favorite product? What's what's your what's your top seller? What's the big favorite product? I got, well, I mean, I brought all the top sellers. Yeah, right. right. So I'll send I'll send you uh, I'll send you guys uh, um um since I'm tingly right now I'll send you a pre workout yeah, pre workout. So you guys, you know, when you drink this, the next workout and you get tingly, just think of the money smart guy. And then realize that you probably should have ate because I never get tingly. <laughs> when uh, I got a lot of people that don't get tingly with it, and tingly is not a bad thing though. As long as you're just not shaky or nauseous, it should be good. Good deal. Cool, man. Scott, thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on. And for those of you watching this right now, whether you're watching this live or watching the replay, make sure you join our Facebook page, like our page. If you're watching this on YouTube, the replay, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You hit the notification squad. If you're watching this chopped up on LinkedIn or on uh, Instagram, make sure you uh, like our page and you drop a comment. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you thought about um, Scott's points about entrepreneurship and and uh, I recommend that you guys check out his website and support a fellow, fellow veteran entrepreneur making his way in the business world, man. So cool. And then uh, we'll reach out to Carter. Yeah. We should, we should do it. Oh, my should, gosh. I so know him. We should do it. <laughs> I could just text him right now and be like, you're doing this next. Yeah. 
and, and then we should do like a we should do like a collab video, you know, some some type of collaboration, make it funny. Uh, you guys are lifting all this weight. I'm lifting my 15 pound dumbbells next to you guys or something like that. Mm. And, and it's probably and, gonna really be true anyway. Right? Yeah, and then I drink your and then I drink your max. And then now and, and then all of a sudden you're curling the big ones. See, yeah, brain, makes sense. Totally makes sense. Brainstorm a new video. <laughs> we'll make it funny. That being said, guys, on behalf of my guest Scott Hardesty, it's hardest with a Y. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's like people say, how do you spell? I'm like, spell hardest and add a Y. It makes it easy. That's My name is Matt Zapala. It's like Paula Abdul with an S.A. in front of Paula. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've been watching the Money Smart Show. Every Friday afternoon is dedicated to veterans and the veteran entrepreneurs wearing the red. Remember, everyone deployed because we want to make the most of the freedom out there. Yeah, just so you know, he didn't tell me he was wearing that because I have the that same shirt. Same one too, right? <laughs> I have that shirt. But I, I guess if I wore it, we'd look like date mates, and that would have been like, that would have been, that could have been awkward. Awkward, right? But nicely awkward. We could, we, we should have, uh, then we would have sang a song or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, make sure you uh, hashtag this Red Friday in support of all the armed forces out there deployed on, the, on behalf of our nation, defend our nation's freedom locally, domestically, and overseas. Make sure you're showing some love. And uh, make sure you tune in next Friday uh, for our Veteran Entrepreneur Edition every Friday afternoon. Our vlogs launch every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. every Sunday. And our business entrepreneur, where we uh, broadcast um, other entrepreneurs to as well in the financial insurance industry every Wednesday afternoon at one o'clock. And uh, we'll, have, we'll go from there. So it's a lot. Yeah, we, we do a lot of stuff, man. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Consistency, building a brand. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Remember, in order to change your life, to transform the way you think, feel, manage, and resource financial independence is predicated by you surrounding yourself with people that want to know more, be more, and have more. And by doing that, by uh, tuning to shows like this, you will accomplish just that. Till we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. <laughs> Boom. Thanks, Brian. <laughs>